We just got to the hotel, but they don't have a room available for us yet. For it's not four hours. Four hours, so I had to quickly change for this. Four hours. In the bathroom, and I feel like I haven't slept, haven't eaten, haven't like brushed my teeth, nothing, but we're exploring London until we can check in. It's so cute here. Cute and classy, I love it. bikes at some point we just got coffee at Carpo and we sat down and had a little breakfast and some tea at I already forget the name of the place but you just saw it Lado 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 L-E-T-O it was really cute in there um, I'm already so obsessed with London like I just walking around the city vibes, it's so classy, so clean, it smells good. I, I think because of, um, there's this flower event happening this weekend. Do you remember what the Uber, or the taxi driver called it? Flower there's like this show. big flower show event happening this weekend. He's like, it's gonna be so busy here and all the stores have like huge flower arrangements decked out on the doors and you can smell them, I swear, you can just smell flowers constantly walking through the city. I love it here. It's not small. It's, like... it's smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah, to a size. It's big. Guys, we just got into the room, so I'm gonna do a little room tour. Here's the door. It's nice and like small and quaint, like perfect size. We don't need it any bigger than this. Little desk area right here. Mirror. And then this, I guess, is the closet area. Oh yeah, this is a really big closet. I'm the type of person that likes to hang up my outfits and have them all organized, of course, so I'm about to do that. I don't like living out of a suitcase. Little breakfast bar area, TV, sitting area, and then the bed looks nice and comfortable. And then we got a nice little street view. And then let's look at the bathroom. Oh wow, the bathroom's really nice. This is so nice. I love this like green marble color. Really pretty. This mirror in the bathroom is so cool. Mirror for my makeup, really big space where I can actually set up my makeup products and stuff. This is like really big actually. And then the toilets. Wow, I'm obsessed with the bathroom. And we have like really good lighting too with the two windows. Oh, I think our luggage is here. Hello. Yeah, I was home. Can I put the large bag on a rack for you? That's perfect. Sure. That is good. Here's bag. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, this is rack just here. Awesome. Thank Great. you. Great. Thank you. Hello. Um, we just napped for like an hour. I didn't fall asleep, but I just like rested. Ryan took a little nap, and now it's around five o'clock. So we're gonna start to head to our first night out in London dinner. It's gonna be kind of casual. Like we want to go to bed early tonight to beat the jet lag and be able to wake up wicked early tomorrow. Just so weird because it's only like noon back at home. So I feel like it's like midday, but really we're getting ready to go to dinner. So just feels weird. But 
Yeah, I feel better since I laid down. I just did my makeup and then my hair is already blown out from when I got a blowout before I left for the trip. I have a whole like prep with me for London video that I posted before this, so it should be up right now. So go watch that. I talk about all my like travel hacks and what I did to prepare for the trip, but getting a blowout was like the best thing I ever did. I actually just saved, I always get a hair trim every like few months and I just saved my appointment for the day I left. In my last vlog, what I packed, if you're curious, all my makeup isn't here all my skincare and whatever so I have everything set up on in the bathroom which is nice I love how big this bathroom is and just the marble detailing this is like my dream bathroom I want this in my house one day when I own a house like just the marble tile all the way up I'm a psychopath and hung up all of my outfits because I always do that and unpacked laid out all my shoes so I can easily see and I planned out my outfits to a T I kind of want to wear something fancier than jeans I'm thinking maybe I'll do this like a jean, denim, maxi skirt, and then this is one of my new tops, so I think I'll feel good in this type of outfit. This is the outfit. This top is from Commence. I have a discount code, which will be linked down below. I love it. The skirt, you can't see all the way, but it's a long denim maxi skirt from Princess Polly, and I love this combination. And then I have this silver Zara bag, and then silver accessories, silver hoops that I got from a boutique in Miami. And then I'm wearing... Um, my loafers. These are also from Zara. They have a little platform to them, so I think they, they're a little like fancy for a dinner outfit. Where, where are we going? I don't know. Knack? Knack? Knack. Knack. French place? Knack. North American cuisine. Can we stop? Wait, they have a salty girl. Shout out Boston. So tiny up here. Intimate. Intimate, huh? <laughs> we haven't eaten like all day. This is truffle, truffle mac and cheese. Bye. Ryan's taking us in the middle of nowhere. He told me we were there like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> My feet hurt so bad. I have blisters. I have to pee really bad. Nightcap. They wrote us a note. What does it say? Please enjoy the cocoa, grapes, almond cake, and beetroot candy with smoked yogurt and mayonnaise. Smoked yogurt? I guess. Wow. Nice. That's nice of them. Quaint. That is quaint. Good morning. It's the next morning, Thursday. Um, it's 8.31, or it's 8.38 right now, London time. Um, we got up early and we just ended up passing out last night after we got a nightcap out. Um, we really just wanted to get like a good night's sleep and I was in bed like before 10 London time. So I feel so much better. I feel like I'm starting to beat the jet lag and ready to take on our first full day in London. Um, this morning, I think we're going to brunch and we're gonna go explore like the London Eye and stuff um, and do more like touristy London things, I think. So this morning's outfit, I have this dress, this cute little white dress from Princess Polly. I'm taking my, Big my, ben, my vlog. We were walking around Harrods, like the big department store that has all the luxury stores in it, and we saw like the Harrods tea room, and we went up and made a reservation. So I came back to the hotel to change my outfit because I wanted to get out of like my engagement outfit or whatever. Love to do outfit changes on vacation. So this is my little casual outfit right now. The set is from Princess Polly. It's like an army green, really comfy, perfect vacation set for walking around. 
paired it with a little bomber jacket. This is from Addicted because it's still kind of chilly outside. I'm just wearing Birkenstocks because my um, feet have insane blisters on them and they're the only shoe I brought that aren't hurting me. I have these sunglasses on from 5th and 9th and then my friend Kim gave me this necklace. I love it so much. So I'm going to go get tea. This is my tea outfit. Hopefully get some content there. It's like this stunning place, like so beautiful. Jug, baby. He knew I'm taking a picture of him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We've just been calling each other fiance like 24 7 yesterday. You okay? Yeah, sorry. I stopped vlogging yesterday because we just wanted to take the day to like soak everything in and we celebrated We got afternoon tea and we like walked awesome. the tea was so good And then we like walked into the park Hyde Park and just like hung out and um, There were so many swans and ducks and stuff and we were just animal watching We got like a jug of Aperol spritz and we were just hanging out in the park for so long and then we were supposed to go to this fancy dinner, like, we wanted to take one night of the trip. It was a good day. It was. It was, like, it was spontaneous. Really good day. We were trying to, like, we were gonna go celebrate at, like, a fancy dinner, and, like, we wanted to do, like, one nice big dinner for, like, one of the days, and it was gonna be yesterday, obviously, to, like, celebrate, but then the jet lag got to us, and we were so exhausted, because we had been up since, like, 7 a.m., which is, like... 3 2 a.m. like normal time and I got proposed to at 9 a.m. which is literally like 4 a.m. So um, We just had like such a long day So we decided we wanted to get McDonald's because you guys if you know, you know Like that is the definition of our relationship me and Ryan like are obsessed with McDonald's We always get McDonald's and I had to try McDonald's in the UK obviously because I heard it's way better so we walked to a McDonald's and it was so packed and crowded like everyone was out and about and it was just so fun and we devoured McDonald's in bed. It's like the perfect way I wanted to ring in us being like proposed and whatever. So this is my phone booth outfit. So cute. I got on sheer tights, a little cargo skirt blah, 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 from Selfie Leslie. Zara tank top has some cutouts in the sleeves. It's a Burberry button up. That's Ryan's that I stole. It's a sleep shirt. Oh, it's called a sleep shirt, I guess. But it has the neon hint of neon, and then I'm gonna wear platform heels with it. I think it'll be such a vibe, but I'm my blisters are so bad, I'm gonna bring the heels to change into because I'm really extra like that. And right now I'm just wearing comfy shoes to walk to phone booth. We gotta scope out a scene. And then we'll probably like, go get coffee. We need coffee. And I'm gonna get like an iced chai, go get breakfast, walk around. And then we'll do the dinner, the celebratory big dinner later tonight. We're trying to decide where we want to go because I got so many good recommendations from you guys. And also just thank you so much for all of the love. Like I'm so overwhelmed. I feel like I have not responded to anyone. And it's just like the attention of it is like so stressful for me. I like don't know how to act, but just if you messaged me or commented on my post or whatever, like thank you so, so much. So, so happy still. And yeah, we're going to get the day started. Walking through the park, we're trying to find a thrift store because I really want to thrift a cute like leather jacket here just for like a souvenir and also like I've been wanting 
a bomber style like leather jacket and yeah i would think it would be fun to go like for a shopping around here maybe get like a cute little uk style t-shirt that kind of thing about to go to our celebratory dinner for our engagement. This dress from Commence, some heels from Zara. Wanted an excuse to dress up and celebrate really. Um, where are we going? We made the res reservation oh, the like garden. last minute today. The garden. Yeah. yeah, no idea what to expect. We found it on like open table. Like, I don't know. It's like a five star restaurant, I think. Does that have a fixed menu? No. Okay. No idea what to expect, but I'll vlog there. It's our last day here. I'm so sad. I I'm, I never want to leave. I don't want to go home. Normally on vacations, I'm like, I get fed up after like five days. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to see Otto. But I don't feel like that at all here. Like, I just feel like this has been a little fairy tale vacation. We got so drunk last night after dinner. We walked around and London's so strange because nothing is open past 11 o'clock. Like, all the bars were closed at 11. And I'm like, what? Not even, like, I understand, like, 1 a.m., but 11 sounded so early. We went to a bar that was, like, on a boat right in front of the London Eye that was really fun. There was, like, a dance floor. People were dancing. Got some drinks there. Then we walked by the castle again and, um, like, walked the same route that we walked with the photographer when he proposed. So it was cool to see it at night and just, like, see it from a different viewpoint when I wasn't, like, shocked and blacked out from being proposed to. And we were just walking through the parks at night, just being silly. And then we got back to the hotel and we're, like, so annoyed that we drank so much. We, like, went to the hotel and we made them like get up and get us Riesling, a glass of wine. Like, why? We did not need that. And then we ordered Taco Bell in bed. <laughs> And there's like lettuce and stuff all in the sheets. It's disgusting. The whole hotel is a disaster. So they have to come in and clean it. But yeah, this is our last day and we slept in. So it's like noon now. So we wasted the whole morning. So we're really upset that we're hungover. There is the Chelsea Flower Show, I guess, which is a really big deal in London. And it happens to be today. And we had no idea it was this weekend. So that's really cool. We're going to go see the flower show. We still got to go to Borough Market. We're going to go eat at the market and just explore that area because we haven't done that yet. And then we actually want to ride on the London Eye since we haven't actually ridden on it yet. So we're going there around 4 p.m. So that is the plans for the day. Notice, what is this, a dinosaur? It's a T-Rex. Eating someone? Oh my gosh, yeah. Get 
guitar. Guitar? Ah, oh, see? Flowers are a guitar. It is, in fact, the mm. spring fair. Chelsea Boys Spring Fair. It's what we're doing. It's a liquor company. Oh. <laughs> Went a little too hard. Mmm. Strawberries that those people had. Looks good. Headed to our last dinner night. I'm so sad. It's 7.51 here and we're both just like so exhausted. We don't even want to do anything tonight because we have to get up at 6 a.m. for our flight tomorrow morning. So we're just going to grab a quick dinner at a pub nearby our hotel in Belgravia. Bel What's our area? Belgravia. Belgravia. I can't get that word right. We're staying in Belgravia. So we're just walking around to a pub near here to go get some dinner and I put on a lazy outfit. I'm wearing one of these Amazon things in my leather jacket that I thrifted. I'm obsessed with it and I'm getting all my use out of it now because I'm not going to be able to wear this when I go back home to Miami. Which has got no fizz in it. <laughs> 